Welcome to part one of a three part video where we're going to learn how to recreate a Georgia O'Keeffe image using watercolours and pencil. If you are following along to this video you will need to get yourself an A5 printout of a Georgia O'Keeffe painting of your choice, some basic drawing tools, um, some good brushes and watercolour paints and obviously water and paper. Now I actually came up with this technique as I was filming this, so to start with we need to draw out a box on our, on our sheets of paper before we can draw out the image itself. Now the easiest way to do this is actually to, with a really sharp pencil, press quite hard or firmly in each corner of the photograph on top of your paper, rather than messing about having to measure out the width and the height and drawing a box. That will just leave an impression on your page so that you can go ahead and grab your ruler and match up the dots and you've got a one-to-one -one, um, replica of the same size as the photograph you're working from and it, it will work with whatever printout you have. Okay, so once you've drawn the box out, we need to create a 3x3 grid on the photograph itself. So what we need to do is measure the width really quickly, which is 13 centimeters. Divide that by three, which is roughly 4.3. Um, so on the ruler, just make a mark, starting from zero to 4.3, and then double that. We go to 8.6, and make two distinct marks, and do that for the top and the bottom. And then where you've made your marks, you just quite simply draw a line straight across your photograph to join them up. Okay, once you've joined the dots up, just do the same thing on the other side. So, my width was 18 centimeters divided by three, that makes six. So I made marks at six and 12 for the top and the bottom and then joined them up, which would complete the three by three grid. Okay, once you're happy with that and you've got a nice square three by three grid on your photograph, put that to one side and do the exact same thing on your paper. However, you will be painting on this, so bear in mind the harder you press down, the more likely you are to see the lines coming through your painting, so at this stage, try and be as light as possible. So at this stage, you may be wondering why have we drawn grids on our work, and the simple answer is, it just to help us draw. Um, we need to translate that image onto our own piece of paper, so by creating a grid, we've actually created a map where we can draw the detail from the photograph onto our drawing accurately with the correct proportions. Um, now you can use your finger to follow along with your other hand exactly where you are in your drawing, but really just go from box to box, trying to fill in all the details as best as you can, and keep checking back at the photograph, look at the image. Does that bit of detail belong there or is it the wrong place? Uh, make those changes, okay? Remember what, what grid you're working in at the time and just keep comparing your drawing to the photograph and eventually you will get an accurate outline. And that's all there is to it really, just keep going around every box one at a time, adding all those details in, starting with the foreground maybe and then going to the background. Um, and just bear in mind we are going to be painting over this so don't press down too hard so keep your pencil marks nice and light okay or use a 2B pencil it's nice and soft it won't make too many uh, dark marks and keep drawing until you're happy with it but don't overdo it don't add any tone we're going to paint all of those features in so once you're happy with the outline um, put it to one side and we'll get started on, on the painting I'll see you in part two